it seems like we traded off the last of our shares for Lady's Lake and a bunch of prisoners. Those who didn't throw themselves from the frozen waterfall or the surrounding cliffs. Far from refusing them more than the hospitality, I, however, will make sure that they evacuate in the next trucks to the rear, alongside our wounded. I don't have the men, nor the facilities to properly treat them here. Speaking of facilities, the city's factories could have helped with our supply issues. If most of their roofs weren't blown up or their interior flooded with dysfunctional machinery. Although efforts could be made to clear out the debris, the last thing High Command can send me are machines. But what they are not running out of are light-hearted conscripts, who are sent to the line as relief, just to return in a state of shock hours later. For many, it's the first time the target is actively trying to shoot back. But if we put all that aside, the city has now a proper defense perimeter, and we can start making them bleed for it. The north is a little bit weak for my liking, even more so when the same high command is forbidding us from destroying the bridges. They are giving disorder, despite knowing that we don't have much to spare to hold them, but... <laughs> of course, nobody wants to be the one cutting off our possible future counter-offensives. <laughs> the sun is going down. It might be time for me to lay down on the couch. A sleepless officer is a dangerous one.